Welcome back to Love and Junk Food. I'm Laura. I'm John. Today we're trying what's new at KFC. What's new at KFC, you ask? Well, not oh, much. <laughs> not much, but over here it's a mac and cheese bowl, and we've got some original chicken in there. Mm hmm. And so it's a combo meal. Yes. So it comes with fries on the side because you're already having mac and cheese and breaded chicken. May as well add some fries to that situation. Yep. And a drink. And how much was this meal? Uh, with tax, it was $8.55. Okay. That seems comparable to mcdonald's or yeah. whatever we don't usually eat kfc like this if we get kfc we're getting a bucket of chicken in the sides <laughs> we're not normally getting combo meals so right not yeah sure. this is a uh, new for us and then we also got um mountain dew sweet lightning and that is um what do you call it? Only at KFC. So it's yeah, a KFC exclusive. exclusive. Now yes. I'm going to try that first before my palate gets killed with anything else. Oh yeah, let's try it. Because that. Um, I feel like we tried it one other time. Or I did. I don't know if you did. I can't remember if I tried it or not. And I didn't like it. I remember thinking it tasted like mango. And uh, uh, we looked it up beforehand. And it's a Mountain Dew that's flavored with peach and honey. Sweet lightning, I kind of thought it was maybe going to be like a sweet tea kind of thing. It's all right, but. Oh, okay. I feel taken back to yeah. like peach schnapps. <laughs> That's Ugh. what it tastes like, peach Goodness, schnapps. Goodness, which if you like it, you like it. I, <laughs> I'd rather have real actual peaches, which I love, not so much a peach drink. That is, that's what it tastes like. As soon as you drink it, it tastes like peach schnapps. Mm -hmm. It's super sweet. Yeah, that's, that's not for me. All right, so the mac and cheese bowl is mac and cheese. Little yep. bites of chicken, you can get it in original or spicy. Yep. And then it's got some sprinkled cheese on the top. Cheese, melty cheese on there, so. Those are my two nope. favorite things on the KFC menu, to be honest with you. It used to be mashed potatoes, but something went wrong at yeah. some point in time at right. KFC. And they switched from actual mashed potatoes to, to like instant or something, mix. Mm -hmm. Yeah, what happened to KFC sides, you know? They used to be so good. Uh -huh. you know, one of the things you'd look forward to, but like their mashed potatoes and gravy, they're not good anymore. Their mac and cheese usually isn't any good, so maybe they improved that recipe. I hope so. Um, fries, they used to have potato wedges, uh -huh. and now they have these fries, and mm -hmm. I'm not even sure if we've tried the fries before yet until now. What do you think of them? I've tried them. <laughs> Just now. I mean, R.I.P. potato wedges, because I loved them. These are pretty good. I like the seasoning on them. They're all right. It's, it's like, like a like chicken. It's like a medium thick, you know, thicker than McDonald's, but yeah, yeah they're all right. Um, I looked as John was driving us here to see if they had the little, let us know if you remember these or if you had them where you live, um, the little tiny parfait containers oh, yeah. and it had like a pie bottom and like chocolate pie filling and then whipped cream on the top man when i was a kid kfc was my dad's favorite i've told john this a million times whenever we would travel sometimes when we were home but he could more often talk my mom into it if we were traveling because it's a special occasion and yeah you should eat fast food and i would always gonna want to get one of those little parfait buckets they don't have those either anymore all right well had to make a little change. The car overheated. <laughs> Not the car, my the phone car, the, overheated. The phone overheated. We had to move the car. So. Yes. Anyway, as you were saying. As I was saying, so the only time that we really had KFC when I was a kid was uh, every year on our annual trip down to Florida. We would stop halfway and sleep overnight, and when we did, we picked up KFC. Nice. Because um, we stayed at the same place most of the time, so it was, it was good, but we didn't usually get it very often. But anyways, I'm going to give this chicken a try before it gets any more cooler. More cooler. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I can tell you what, for all of our complaining about they don't have this anymore and they don't have that anymore, they get their chicken right. I like it. Mm -hmm. um, it's not my favorite, though. 
Thank you. I don't know if any place can touch Nando's now, now that I've had a taste of it. I never knew what I was missing before. Yeah, Nando's was good. Grilled, you know, had a nice char on it. Flavor. We have an at-home Nando's flavor kit that, or I don't know what you want to call it, seasoning pack or sauce kit or something that Anna sent us and I think that's on the agenda for next week. We need to use it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I can't wait to try that. Um, anyways, my opinion on this, I guess. Um, mac and cheese is okay. It was cheesy. Um, the chicken with it makes it a little dry, though. I think. But the flavor is good. Makes what dry? Well, the, the mac everything. And cheese? Everything. I, here's my knock. I don't feel like they took, like, a piece of chicken, like a chicken breast, and cut it up. It feels like all the crispy stuff on the outside. Like, I don't see any actual pieces of chicken. Maybe that's one. It's more like little tiny crispy bits, which is okay, but I want some actual chicken. I think it's definitely this stuff is processed somewhere else. So it's like little chicken bites and stuff. So mm -hmm. I think they probably just reheat it and plop it in the bowl. All I'm getting is little chicken crispiness. And no chicken at all. And they're really hard. There's a lot of little pieces in there. There's some that are like bigger pieces, so I wonder if the bigger pieces might have a little more chicken in it. This is a big one. I'll try it. All right. But what I'm saying is it just kind of tastes like breading and not chicken, which isn't that great to me. Uh, breading is delicious, but usually it's mm. delicious if it comes with chicken. <laughs> mm -hmm. That was chicken. I'll tell you. Let me try it again. <laughs> it's okay. I actually prefer they also have mac and cheese. That's a mac and cheese bowl. They also have like the potato bowls. And what I love about those, even with the not so great potatoes, it has gravy. Mm. And that makes the chicken so much better. It gives it a better, like, texture and, yeah, that, I like that one better. Yeah, this is all right. It's good in a pinch. I, I don't dislike it. Same. But it's not, it's not as good as I was hoping. Mm-hmm. Same. Yep. Yeah. As you can see, like, there are these little pieces here. Some of them are quite tiny. That's what Laura was talking They're about. They're like chicken pop like... rocks, kind of. <laughs> yeah, but... They're super, super crunchy. Yep. So. so, around here, around these parts, we have Popeyes. We have KFC. We have Chick-fil-A. Am I missing any? Those are like the big... The big ones. Chicken chains. But is there Chester's anywhere? Well, that's like gas station mm -hmm. chicken. Yes, gas station chicken, yeah. Um, so I'm saying like big fast food chains. Those mm -hmm. are the, we have those three. How, oh, you know what? We have a, um, a Raisin Cane's. Oh, yeah. As well. We haven't which tried that we've yet. We've never tried. Some places have like, though, like Zaxby's and Nando's, which I literally had. Um, how would you rate, I mean, rank the places that we have? The places that we have. Okay. Well, here's the thing. I think I love Popeye's chicken, number one, but their customer service is dreadful. It's so bad that we won't even go there. There anymore. is a Quad City food group that I'm a member of, and that's all you hear about Popeye's. And guess what? Popeye's never has chicken. <laughs> They're always out of chicken. Actually, our KFC is known for that as well. Yeah. Um, yeah, Especially the later you get in the day, the if it gets to be like 7, 7.30 and you want chicken, you're better off to go to like a gas station. Anyway, go ahead, Popeyes. So, I like their chicken best, I guess. Um, I don't know, like as far as like getting a like a bucket of chicken uh, or like a amount like that, it would be like um, probably Popeyes, then KFC, then... 
like Chick-fil-A, but Chick-fil-A doesn't have chicken like that. They just have, they have like nuggets and sandwiches and stuff, right? They don't have like chicken on the bone. They have chicken sandwich. That's, mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, mine for sure. This makes me so sad. We hardly ever eat at Chick-fil-A, um, but it is my favorite. We hardly ever eat there for, you know, give me your chicken, but save your politics. That's how I feel about it. Excellent customer service at Chick-fil-A. They mm-hmm. run a tight ship there. You can tell that people are um, either they're particular in their um, hiring process and definitely in their training. Um, but, you know, but. There's, there's some other things that I have a problem with Chick-fil-A. But their chicken is fantastic, and I love it. So. Yeah, we were just talking about some of their chicken nuggets, and it's been a long, long time since I've had it. Mm-hmm. We should go try that in one of these car-side episodes. Yeah. So Chick-fil-A, and then for me, KFC. I don't know. I really don't like KFC or Popeyes, to tell you the truth. I really don't. Yeah, well, no. I'll, I'll eat a Popeye. Or, uh, what am I trying to say? The KFC chicken sandwich is okay, and I like the bucket of chicken. But I'm always disappointed in all their side dishes. Yeah, that's, that's the thing. If they didn't ruin all their sides, they used to be good. Now they've changed. I know we've talked about that already. But if if they had better sides, I, their chicken's good. Mm-hmm. So I mean, that would move things up for KFC for me, but... Their gravy is still awesome, and I love their biscuits. So there's that, too. Yeah. Well, sometimes I love their biscuits. Sometimes they're not good. Consistency. Mm-hmm. There's a problem. Mm-hmm. Yeah, for sure. Anyway, enough griping about KFC <laughs> in this KFC video. Um, so, I... Overall, takeaways, I would say the value was okay. Fries, mac and cheese, some chicken, and a drink for about what you'd spend at McDonald's. I think that's fair. Um, I'd like better pieces of chicken in the mac and cheese bowl. I think the mac and cheese in this tasted fine. However, if we were eating in the dining room or we were eating at home, it needs salt and pepper. Yeah. So it's missing the seasoning. The fries, I think, are excellent, and I would get those again and again and again. That's my hero of this group. That drink, I don't care if I ever try that again. I hated (laughs) it. I can tell you, I've told this story before. Um, My dad, when he would drink, he didn't drink that often, but when he would drink, he would drink peach schnapps, and that was always in our house. So, you know, as I was a teenager, I may or may not have tried his peach schnapps, and it's very, like, triggering to me. That peach yes, drink flavor. Yes. Um, how would you rank the the bowl, the mac and cheese bowl? How would I rate it? Yeah, rate, rank, whatever. I mean, I just I would get I would get a bucket of chicken or the potato bowl or several other things before this. I don't yeah. know, maybe like a six and a half. It's okay. Yeah. I was thinking I was probably going to give it like a five or something because it's neither here nor there. You know, it's Black it's not luster. bad. Yeah, it's not bad, but it's not real good either. So, you know, it would have been much better, I think, if they would have had like a breaded chicken breast or like a boneless chicken breast or maybe chicken tenders mm-hmm. and, and just cut it up and put it in there. Agree. Yeah. KFC hasn't done that many new things lately. And I'd like to see them do that. There's a million different things that you could that you could do with a restaurant like that. Sure. I feel like they've done more taking things away instead of adding things to their right. menu. And they do that thing where they do a meal. You know, McDonald's has done it. Where they do a celebrity meal. Yeah. Jack Harlow is the current one, I think. And they're just taking what they already have and putting it together like you know yeah it's a sprite and a ranch and a this and a that but it's not anything new i wish they would do something new right anyway and i have no idea who jack harlow is <laughs> or jake i was gonna call him jake i don't know <laughs> let us know if you have tried the mac and cheese bowl or if you want to now after our <laughs> raving review of it it's just all right it's just i mean that's what you would expect and and i was disappointed in the chicken so there you have it Come what are you going to do? Come find us on social media. If you haven't already, subscribe to this channel and the other channels. We have a game channel. We have a vlog channel. Much more on those coming soon. Now, if you love KFC, which 
I think we should just stick to a bucket of chicken when we Probably, it. yeah. Right? Bucket of chicken, some biscuits, maybe the fries. The fries were all right. Yeah. Um, you know, if you love KFC. Or chicken in general or mac and cheese which we normally do or us or with the a video. video give this video a big thumbs up and don't forget to let us know in the comments if there's other fast food places fast food things you want to see us try we're trying to do about one a week yeah and i think we've been consistent with that when we're out anyway let's stop and pick up something new and give it a try i know we want to try the cream sickle Orange, shake yeah, orange cream sickle at shake. Arby's. They have sliders at Arby's. There's always a million new drinks and things at Sonic. We, um, you know, if McDonald's has something new, of course, we'll give that a try. But let us know in the comments some things that you have seen fast food wise that you want to see us try. I think that's all we have for today. That's it, guys. See you next time. Bye.